Hello, I'm Patrick Radva. I'm the Regional Wastewater Leader for Dewberry in the Denver office. With enhanced biological nutrient removal, it's basically combining chemistry, microbiology, and math in trying to manage three different consortiums of microorganisms in one complete package to meet effluent limits of 0.7 milligrams per liter phosphorus and 7 milligrams per liter total inorganic nitrogen. How it works. In an anaerobic zone, we're taking influent wastewater, trying to ferment it, and by fermenting it, we're taking these long, complex organic molecules and trying to make it down to simple sugars that phosphorus accumulating organisms can utilize to remove phosphorus from our waste stream. In the anoxic zone, we are promoting the growth of heterotrophic denitrifiers. And heterotrophic denitrifiers use nitrate much like we humans use oxygen. They're breathing in nitrate and producing nitrogen gas, therefore removing nitrogen from our wastewater. In the aerobic zone, we're doing two, two things. We're removing the residual carbon waste that's left over from our denitrification process. And we're also promoting the growth of autotrophs that take ammonia, much like we humans take in food, use oxygen, and they produce nitrate. Unfortunately, we have no carbon left to denitrate with, so we have to recycle a portion of our wastewater back to our anoxic zone to bring it back to a carbon source to go through a whole denitrification process. And that's enhanced biological nutrient removal in a nutshell.